All right, everyone, Jay here with jaysonlinereviews.com. In this training video, I'm going over one of my most popular blog posts because it's very useful for anybody looking to create their own website, um, how to choose a niche, how to get started. It pretty much covers everything. So what I'm going to do here is read this blog post to you. For those of you who don't like you know, reading much, like to sit there and listen to uh, listen to the information instead of physically reading it. Also, what I'm going to do is right underneath this video, there's going to be a link to this blog post, so you can bookmark it, save it, come back now. You can go to it now or go to it at a later date and read it for yourself. So, with that being started, here is the how to create your own website or blog and the steps you need to get started. This blog was born six years ago out of wedlock. That was a joke for those of you with no sense of humor out there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Here are the steps I took to create my own blog and how I am growing it into an authority website. All right, I had to ask myself these important questions before I took the leap into creating my own website. What niche I am going to base my blog around that I am passionate about? Was there money in this niche? Since I was starting a blog, did I have enough topics in this niche to write about for years to come? I had to choose a good domain name for my new blog. After all, operating a website or a blog is owning your own internet real estate, so choosing wisely. So by choosing wisely, you'll not be stuck with something bad for years to come. What web hosting should I choose to host my new blog? Since I heard a ton of great things about self-hosted WordPress blogs, I had to learn how to set mine up correctly. How, will, how I would set up my website or blog properly so it would look professional. How to drive as much targeted traffic as possible to my website or blog because traffic will be the lifeblood of your online business. The more traffic that you can generate, the more money your business will make because traffic equals money online. Finally, how to publish my first blog post and get the blog rolling with my new, you know, with my new niche and my new and my new blog, so I can make some money. Why I ended up choosing the internet marketing niche. When the idea for this blog came about, I had already been researching internet marketing and different ways to make money online for a few years already, and I had a passion for it. So I knew it was an extremely competitive niche but I was up for the challenge. Bring it on, baby. Plus, there are all, all kinds of topics that you can discuss in this niche since it is so broad. Here were my checklists for the internet marketing niche. The internet marketing niche is profitable but highly competitive, but my passion outweighed the competi competitiveness. Do something you love and you will never work a day in your life. So check for passion and profitability. I love learning all about internet marketing, affiliate marketing, and making money online, so check for passion. I had a ton of ideas for blog posts for my new website that I was definitely interested in, and I would not run out of, run out of ideas for new blog updates for a long, long time. If you want to create your own blog or website, does it fit my criteria above? And there's also exceptions to all these rules. Some of these rules here. If you have something that's, you know, very not competitive at all, like you know, it's it's really hard to find those these days. But if it's not competitive at all, I mean, you don't have to have, you know, tons of blog posts to make money with it. You can get on the first page of Google. There's not very much competition. It's profitable. You can do it that way as well. But if you want something that's gonna, you know, gonna be working on all the time, it's gonna keep you busy that you're passionate about, check for all those criteria I have list, listed above. Okay, how I came up with my domain name. The first idea I had for this blog was for it to be a review blog, but it turned into a combination of both reviews and an internet marketing blog that covers all aspects of making money online. My motto on entre entrepreneur's mission to make you more money online. Let's throw in some product reviews based around the internet marketing niche, and you have jaysonlinereviews.com, the number one internet marketing training blog on the internet. 
My name is in my domain name, and I have the review aspect covered as well. It is a decent domain name, but if I had to do it all over again, I would have chosen a domain name with the internet marketing aspect built into it. So I kind of, when I came up with my domain name, it's, I mean, it's decent, but I would have definitely chosen something different. But I kind of put a lot of work into it and grew it, and it got somewhat popular, so I... You know, basically, it was stuck with it. But uh, like I said, it's not a bad name. But if I had to do it all over again, I would have chosen something a little shorter. Okay, and moving on here. Now it was time to pick web hosting so I could create my own website. Like I said earlier, I had already been studying affiliate and internet marketing in general for a few years prior to starting this blog. So I already had a pretty good idea of who was going to host my website based on reviews from a lot of the biggest internet marketing forums in the world mainly the warrior forum and I go on here about why I ended up choosing HostGator but that's just who I use and I don't want this, this video to turn into a sales pitch so you can come read that in this post below below this video I'll leave that link like I said earlier and I, I talk about my experience with HostGator Okay, moving on here. How I would set up my website or blog properly so it would look professional. This was all a learning curve throughout the years of blogging. I just became better and better. If you do anything a lot like creating websites, creating blogs, updating your blogs, you just learn to make everything look nicer and nicer. Sometimes I think to myself, man, I've come a long way from when I first started out blogging. And when I first started doing this, you know, I looked like, looked like a kindergartner put it together. It was pretty bad, but... Like with anything, the more you do it, the better you're going to get. And then I give you a recommendation for something that's uh, for creating websites that will help you out. Uh, how to drive as much targeted traffic as possible to your new website or blog. Comment on blogs in your niche. That's important. And if you're one of the first ones to comment on your blogs, comment on the, you know, the top blogs in your niche. That's even more exposure. Post on forums in your website or blogs niche. Warrior forums a big one. Uh, if you're outside the internet marketing niche, you know you can just redo a Google search on the top forums and whatever niche you're in. Submit free press releases promoting your new website or blog. Just Google free press release sites, or you can go to Fiverr and uh, pay five dollars for somebody to submit press releases for you. Save you some time. But my favorite press release sites for you to start out. Uh, actually, just one of them, prlog.org. That's for free, and that's my favorite one, so you can get a feel for it. So, prlog.org. Okay, moving on here. You want to submit classified ads promoting your new website or blog. There's Craigslist, there's Kijiji, there's Gumtree, there's Backpage. Um, that's just for starters. Do a Google search, you can find more of those. are the most popular ones that I know about. Use free SEO strategy, strategies when updating your blog or website so you have people finding your new site through the search engines. Social networking sites are very useful nowadays in driving targeted traffic to your newly created website or blog. Tell people about your new website using social networking sites like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google+, and I threw MySpace in there. It's not real huge, this, huge these days, but you can tell people about that through MySpace about your new blog web, blog or website and Pinterest for starters and there's also a ton more submit YouTube videos promoting your newly created website or blog you can use a cheap screen recording and video creating software called a shampoo I use it and it works great for making simple how-to YouTube videos you're listening this video you're watching right now was created using a shampoo. It's cheap, works well. Get a little headset going, and you can do this for yourself. And I give you some recommendations from some more website traffic. And moving on here, I got a post that says how to publish your first blog post and do some keyword keyword research. This is a little out of date. <clears throat> the publish your first blog post is very much relevant, but the but doing the keyword research. I guess it's still relevant, but um, you have to set up um, an account with Google to do your keyword research nowadays if you're doing it for free. If you pay for a software, obviously you can do it whenever you want. So keep that in mind when you're watching the video. 
And I'm also leaving a video here to how to get started after you create your new website or blog and make money as an affiliate marketer. It's a training video. It's awesome. Make sure you're signed into your YouTube account to watch this video. And it's the ultimate make money online from home affiliate marketing training video. So, Okay, moving on here. Your most important step after you create your first website or blog. My online earnings really ramped up when I started and grew my own email list. This is where the really really big money is made online. So be sure to capture your website visitors with an opt-in form of some kind so you can turn these casual visitors who will prob probably never return again into paying customers. Starting an email list is extremely important if you plan to turn your website into a real business that can generate revenue for you, your family, for years to come. The money is definitely in the list and I give you a recommendation of who my favorite uh, email service provider is. Okay, here's some steps to turn your blog into an authority blog. Update your content on a regular schedule at least a few times a week and be persistent. You will see progress. Build high quality backlinks to your blog or website with high page rank. Do not link to shady websites. Offer high quality unique content that can be shared and linked to by your website or blog visitors. Pick a niche like stated above that you're passionate about. It will make it 10 times easier to succeed. Um, pa being passionate about your niche helps. It's not everything. You can not be passionate about your niche and still make money with it. But I find if I like doing what I'm doing, it makes it more profitable for me. Do not be lazy. Have the motivation to make it happen, and anything is possible. Like set a schedule. What I mean by that, what I mean by that is set a schedule. Uh, maybe a couple an hour a day, two hours a day. If you can do eight hours a day, even better. I mean, however your schedule, whatever your schedule permits, and do a little bit of something every day. You know, it's like the tortoise and the hare thing. It's not always the you know the faster rabbit is going to win that race. Sometimes that that persistent tortoise that's doing a little bit every day is building up, and he's he's going to win in the end. It's a little little analogy for you. My final thoughts here. If you're just getting started online by following the tips I've outlined in this blog post covering how to create your own website, uh, my blog creation tips will help you on your journey to get started and, and earn you more revenue with your website or blog. This blog post is a little bit old, but it says I'm a six plus year internet marketer. I'm actually eight years now, so I have a lot of experience and have thousands of hours invested into my numerous blogs throughout the years. And if you want to stop in and leave a comment below this, I'd appreciate it. Uh, I have a little section here that says, let me hear your, com your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you, if you feel like sharing it, I would appreciate that on your favorite social networking site. And stop in, in that, stop in on that link underneath the video, and you can read this for yourself. And I'm actually going to be updating this a little bit more, this blog post, so I'm going to add a little bit more information to it. All right, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.